Hi, in this video, we will talk about skip authentication or login in Playrent. So what do you mean by skip authentication or login? Okay, first we'll see what exactly the topic is. Then we will see the code. So I'm taking one application called a demo web shop. The website is uh, demowebshop.tricentis.com slash login. So if you assume that this is my application. Okay, so here when I want to uh, work with this application, I want to test this application. First, I need to log into this application. Okay, first I need to log into this application. So let me log in this. So I'm logged in. Okay, so sakinal so at gmail.com logged in. So you, you see that logout. So after that, I need to execute my test cases. But let's assume like uh, you have 1000 test cases or 2000 test cases or 3000 test cases in your application. So for each and every time, if you want to execute that particular test case, so you need to log into the application and perform your testing and then close the browser. Again, open the browser, navigate to this URL, again login. So if you have 1000 test cases, 1000 times, you need to log into this application. So this piece of code like, you know, login functionality is mandatory for each and every test case. But I don't want to do this for each and every test case. Okay. So the moment when I log into this means navigate to this URL, I should be on this page. Where is that? So I, I, I I want to be in this page, means already logged in. So is that possible without giving the username and password, all these things? So yes, that is possible with play, right? So we have the options to achieve this. So this is one of the beautiful options available with play, right? So this way you can reduce your execution time. All right. So we'll see how, how the, you know, that will happen with the help of play, right? So let me go to IntelliJ, so I created one class called skip authentication or login. And inside this, I created one test case or no test method, skip application login. But here, what we need to do first, one time at least we should login. Okay, at least one time we should login. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create another method, public void, so I can say, application login, okay? So here, I need to create Playwright instance. Playwright.create and then browser. Browser is equals to Playwright. Sorry. Playwright. Chromium dot so launch new launch options dot set headless false okay i want to see the browser and then browser context the browser dot new context and then page instance page page is equals to browser context dot new page so till here, this is normal code, okay? So after that, I want to navigate to page.navigate. So this is the, let me log out this and click on login. So here I want to go, right? Here I want to go and then, so page.fill, so I want to, I have ID, okay? So what is the username? So this is my username. Okay, again page.fill, I want to fill the password. So let me inspect this. So again, password. And the demo password which I'm using is just this. 
and page dot click so login button so type equals to submit so we have two here so let me take value is equals to login okay so this is one so here this one so after that i'll just print the title so whether it is logged in or not so then here we need to do one thing browser context dot storage state okay so we need to stay store the that stage for this insert this new storage options browser context dot storage options dot set path paths dot get Okay. Here you need to mention one JSON file name, whatever it is you your wish. So I'll say authentication dot JSON. Okay. So let me put in this next line. So this is important. So bro, once you log in, the moment when you log in, after clicking in the login button, browser context dot storage state in that new browser context dot storage state options dot set path where that you no know, I actually I need this JSON file to be created so that I am creating where in the root directory project directory okay pass dot get will give the project directory inside the authentication dot JSON file will generate so if you see here playwright tutorial inside this it will create authentication dot JSON so when you observe this I do not have anything now. Authentication.json is not there. Okay. And then, so after that, what I'll do? I'll just uh, wait for three seconds and then play right that close. Okay. Let me add exception. So, with the help of this method, I'm able to log in, so it means I can log in. And after login, this line is important for us. We can store the login session in this JSON file. Okay. So observe here. Let me run this. So at least we need to execute the login functionality. Then it will it will generate that authentic authentication.json file. So we need that file to skip the authentication from the next time so let me uh, let it execute and observe the folder structure you see that authentication dot jason and you see the title is printing demo web shop so our interest is this one so when you go here um, Okay, so it will it will generate some code. You see that a very big code right till here. So we need this file actually. Okay, so this file is generated. It will have that uh, login state. Okay. Now we'll go back to our here. So the actual login will will do now. Okay. So here also. So playwright playwright is equals to playwright dot create. So again browser browser is equals to playwright dot chromium. Again browser context is equals to browser dot. So in the browser what I'm doing, we can launch. 
new browser type launch options dot set headless false and browser dot here new context and inside the context okay inside the context new browser dot new context options dot set new context options dot set storage state path set storage state path let me put in the next line so in the path we need to mention the authentication dot json path so the same thing i'll copy paste here okay here we are storing that state using what is that browser context dot storage state but here set storage state path okay here browser context dot storage state options here new context options okay so set storage state path pass dot get of where that location is so the one which we created in the previous test so after this we need to create the page instance page page is equals to browser context dot new page okay and this is common and we don't need even login okay we don't need in login and the moment when it is login it will automatically the state means logged in state so to see that properly thread the sleep for 5 seconds and uh, again i'll print the page title so after that play right dot close okay so this time i will not execute this i don't need even this one okay so from second time onwards we can use this one so i am not writing this logic i am not going to the login page i am not filling the username password and clicking on login button these three lines i am skipping even though it will go inside the login state so what is that state if it is login what is the guarantee that we logged in you can see username here and the logout button okay so let me execute this observe carefully then the moment the it opens the browser it will be in the login state only you can see the logout button you see that logout and sakinala@gmail.com directly logged in we are not going to the login page and providing the username and password and click on login button so we are skipping all these things right this is one of the beautiful options available in playwright right so i can even remove this code okay we don't need that if i try to execute again and observe carefully now you see logout and username you can see so let me change it to authentication one dot json so definitely it should not work so we'll see what happens what is the error or no what the behavior of my test case i think it will say the file itself it is not there so fail to read storage state from file the reason is there is no such file okay so i put it back observe once again
So while launching and navigating itself, it will be in the state of login. You see, logout and the username. Okay, this is how you can avoid logging into the application each and every time. Okay, so you can avoid this login functionality each and every time. So we can directly into the login state only. We can avoid, we can reduce the execution time. Okay, so this is all about you know skipping the authentication or you know login to the application. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video and put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.